happens when I call you? You are the super to my human.
Sunday, we came to lift up the name of Jesus in this room. This is the day that we choose to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you're excited to lift up the name of Jesus, we just want to encourage you to join in praise and worship with us. Amen. Let's go. Amen. The King of Kings is in this room. We bow down and worship you. The King of Kings is in this room. Be enthroned in our praises. The King of Kings is in this room. Be in the Forever you are. 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 Give it all up, hey. 
in this room we bow down we surrender again we surrender again oh, 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 oh. we surrender again we surrender again oh, to jesus we surrender again 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 we surrender again, we surrender again. Oh, to the savior hey or to the master to my father, we surrender again. We lay it down, we lay it down. We lay it down, we lay it down. We, lay it down. we cast our cross, we cast our crown. We cast our cross, we cast our crown. We lay it down, we lay it down. We lay it down, we lay it down. Every we think of the Jesus. Every we think of the Jesus. Every we think of the Jesus. Airport we think on the Jesus Airport we think on the Jesus We surrender again We surrender again Be enthroned, be enthroned The King of Kings is in this room We bow down and worship you The King of Kings is in this room Be enthroned in our praises The King of Kings is in this room Oh, we bow down and worship yeah, you. Yeah. Be enthroned. Be enthroned in our praise. Our Father, all of heaven rolls joining. Sing louder. Let this place erupt with words. Can you hear it? The sound of heaven touching gold. Sound of heaven, oh Father, all of heaven, heaven sing louder. Let this place, how can you hear it? Hear the sound, the sound of heaven touching earth. Our Father, all of heaven roars.
revival, 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 say, revival, say, my heart is beating again, my heart is beating again, my heart is beating again, revival, 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 shake up this word, oh God, shake up this world, oh God, Break all walls down. Come on, can we lift our hands and sing that? Spirit break out. Oh, break all walls down. Come on, sing spirit break out. Spirit break out. Break all walls down. Break all walls down. We need an encounter from your presence, Jesus. Heaven, calm down. Resurrection Sunday. Happy Resurrection Sunday and welcome home again. To our online audience, we thank you for joining us today. If we have any first time visitors in with us today, we'd like you to show your hands, please. Let's give it up for our first time visitors. If you're visiting with us on the first for the first time online, please just send us a message and say, This is my first time. On behalf of our senior pastor, Pastor Teddy McNair, and our first lady, Lady Octavia, we welcome you. I woke up this morning and I said, because he lives. I said, because he lives. That's all you have to say at that point, that because he lives. We can do anything we want to do because he lives. Amen? I'm not going to preach to y'all, but I feel good today, guys. We're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. Father God, we come before you right now, Lord God, just giving you all the glory, all the honor, Lord God, for you so truly deserve it, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for sending your son, Jesus, for us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for his death, his burial, his resurrection, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that he sits on the right side of you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we lift up our service to you today, Lord God. You be glorified in everything that happens today, Lord God. None of us, Lord God, and all of you saturate every heart, every mind, every body, and every soul, Lord God. Take complete control in the name of Jesus. And Satan, right now, everything that you meant to try to destroy, anything that takes place today, we curse you at the root in the name of Jesus. We command you to bow your knees now in the name of Jesus. Father, you be glorified. You be honored, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all hyped up this morning? Oh, come. Are you hyped up this morning for Easter for Jesus Christ? If you are, get up off your feet. Get up off your feet. Get up, 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 get up. Y'all still sitting down. That means y'all trying to look pretty. You trying to look pretty. Get up off your feet and give God some glory. All the way up here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let every day, every day. Dad has breath. Dad has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Jesus. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus is lifted high. You may be seated if you're able. But the Lord is good and he reigns forever. He reigns forever. There is no one like our God. So while you're seated, do you mind just lifting your hands and let's just bless the Lord. Let's just honor him because he's good and he's worthy of all the glory. A thousand generations falling down in worship to sing the song of ages to the Lamb. And all who've gone before us and all who will believe will sing the song of ages to the land. Your name is the highest, your name is the greatest, your name stands above them all, all thrones and dominions, all power. And positions of your name stands above them all and the angels cry holy all creation cries holy you are lifted high holy holy for
your firm foundation come on we know that a house that's not built on a firm foundation cannot stand this next song just says that Christ is our firm foundation and if it's just been your rock I just want you to sing this song out can we just lift this song up to the heavens amen Christ is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand. When everything around me is shaking, I've never been more glad. I put my faith in Jesus. He's never let me down. Faithful through generation, so why would he fail now? He was.
talking, yeah. look at the time. Home is dead, me way behind. Say, I was out of luck, and then I was money. Then my home is in the big dog, and so forth. Blink, 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 your eyes and see what difference this so worth it. Be. Stress this time, they days to be. Make the Lord, every you pray to me. Say, thank the Lord, boy, thank the Lord twice. If you don't, you just roll with dice. You don't believe me, just ask the man. He'll make you fly like you don't tell him. I'm the man, my soul, so I can keep you near stay. Hey. Ran and hope my pain disappear. Hey. I was out of the way, I was back in the pool, so drunk in my soul, I'm talking to you. Hey, yeah, back in my soul, you know I'm gonna walk away, take the Lord, and I'm hey. saving the day, and I'm talking to the Lord, and I'm giving him that he's giving me grace, and I'm gonna make a way. Can we sing it out? I'm safe with you. I'm gonna make it through. Rain came, rain came with. In the midst of the storm, my house was built on you. We are safe with you. I'm safe with you. I'm gonna make it through. Hallelujah. Somebody give God some praise. I said, somebody give God some praise. Glory, glory, glory. Welcome once again to Believer's Bible Christian Church, where God is exalted, the devil is defeated, and Jesus is Lord. You may be seated. Welcome to Resurrection Sunday, or as we call it, welcome to Easter at Believers. Do I have any blessed believers in the house this morning? I heard about eight of you. I said, do I have any blessed believers in the house this morning? <laughs> Glory to God. Well, listen, you all look amazing. You all sound amazing. And the presence of the Lord is in this place. Right now, we're going to give you an opportunity to participate in giving. Glory to God. Are you enjoying yourself so far? <laughs> Glory to God. Well, listen, we're going to worship God with our giving. There's a few ways that you can participate. There's ushers in the aisle. If you need an envelope, you can raise your hands and one of the ushers will get an envelope to you. Also, there'll be ushers to my left and to my right at the altar. So feel free 
to bring your offerings up at any time during this time. Glory to God. And those of you that give electronically, there's a few ways you can participate. You can text to give. The information is on the screen. You can text the word BBCC or text the letters BBCC to the number 54244. Our cash app handle, those that like participate by cash app is dollar sign believers Bible ATL, dollar sign believers Bible ATL. And then those that are watching this virtually online, if you'd like to send your offerings in or bring them by the church, the church address here is 3689 Camilton Road, Southwest Atlanta, Georgia, 30331. Those are the few ways you can participate. As always, I encourage you to obey God. Somebody say, obey God. And while you're preparing offers, I do want to recognize we have some some special people that are in the house. If this is your first time, your first time attenders, your first time here, believers, just wave at me. I just want to be able to recognize you. Praise God. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. Come on, believers. We can do just a little better than that. Thank you for worshiping with us. Listen, all our first time guests, we've been praying for you. We've been believing God for you. And I pray that you are blessed during this service and during this time. Also, we want you to just to be blessed by the presence of God. Uh, unless God tells you don't, you don't participate in the offering, we just want you to receive and have all that God has for you. Our Believers Worship Team has been preparing for you. And don't they sound amazing? Lord to God, I was trying to see if I could run up and rap, but they didn't, they didn't give me no words as again, as always. I, I need them to give me a couple of lines so I can jump in on those. Since I can't sing, I can rap. Praise God. Praise God. But uh, while you're preparing your offerings, I'm going to read our giving scripture, which comes from 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, and we start in verse 6. And I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. And it reads, remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop. But the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. You must each decide in your heart how much to give and don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure for God loves a person who gives cheerfully and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. Once again, those options are you can text to give, text the word BBCC to the number 54244. Cash app is dollar sign. Believers Bible ATL and then the mailing address is 3689 Camerton Road, Southwest Atlanta, Georgia 30331. I do want to say we thank God for all of you that give regularly into believers that give on a regular basis. You make everything that we do possible here at Believers and so we praise God for what all he's been able to do through us on a weekly basis and we're going into year 40 as a church and it's because of your faithfulness because of your contributions, because of your service, that we continue to be a light here in Southwest Atlanta. If you're staying with me, we're going to pray of your offerings. And then we're going to get back into this time of praise and worship. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, once again for this opportunity to give. Lord, you also said in your word, give and it shall be given to us. Good measure. Pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into our bosom. So, Lord, I thank you that we have members, we have partners, and community that are cheerful givers. And, Lord, you continue to provide seed to all of us that sow. Lord, I thank you that we as a church will be good stewards of the gifts and the talents that are sown into this work as we continue the vision you've given us to be a quality ministry and outreach center that's taking this message of faith, healing, miracles, and love to the nations. And specifically reaching out people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you all the praise, honor, and glory for it. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. You may be seated.
right quick let me open it up good news I got a Bible y'all really do look pretty though 
And uh, I think Pastor Theo wore an Easter suit. My Lord, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Good news. The word of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, Jesus went about Galilee teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom. So the good news is really the gospel of the kingdom. Now, when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, y'all know Mary Magdalene, the mother of James and Salome brought spices that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning on the first day of the week, say first day of the week, they came to the tomb where the sun had risen and they said among themselves, who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? But guess what happened? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe sitting on the right side. And they were alarmed. But he said to them, do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they have laid him. Go tell his disciples and Peter. Yes, Peter was a disciple too. That he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. And that's baptizing the Holy Ghost. But he who do, does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. Y'all come on up. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. A spider bit me the other day. You see me still standing here, right? They will lay hands on the sick. Tiffany, they will recover. Said to your feet, you can. There's a lot of talk going around town, and I hear a lot of people running their mouths. Everyone like an anchor, just bringing them down, down, down. Oh, we've been all looking for silver lining, something to hold on to when hope's been hiding. I know a place you can go if you want to find it. This is the good news If your breathing is for you An empty grave A life that changed It all points to Jesus' name If you've been searching And nothing's been working I've got good news Jesus' love
It all points to Jesus. If you can search it, if you can search it, nothing can work it. Nothing can work it. Oh, good, good, no. Come on, an empty grave, a life that changed. It all points to Jesus. It all points to Jesus. And if you've been searching, nothing's been working. And nothing's been working. And that's why we get your liberty Cause you do it all again, again, again. Hey. Oh, 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 oh Cause you're doing it all again, again, again. Oh, 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 oh You make the blind You make the lame man walk again You make the lame man walk again You cause the dead to rock, rock, rock And that's why we get your liberty And that's why we get your liberty Whoa. Never reaching, no, never reaching. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's lift our hands all over the sanctuary. The word of God tells us his promises are yes and amen. What does that mean? He's a faithful God. He is consistent. And if he said it, he will do it. Hallelujah. God of Abraham, you're the God of covenant, of faithful promises, yes. Time and time again, you have proven to do just what you said. Though the storms may come and the winds may blow, I'll remain steadfast. And let my heart learn when you speak a word, it will come to pass. Great is your faithfulness to me. Great is From the rising sun, from the rising sun to the setting same, I will praise your name. So great is, is your faithfulness to great is your faithfulness. Yeah. 
bless you In the middle of my storm In the middle of my trial I will still bless you In the middle of the road When I don't know where to go Say I will I still bless you 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 I still bless you
From the rising sun to the setting same hour, praise your name. From the rising sun to the setting same hour, praise your name. So great is your faithfulness to me. Come on and give him praise for his faithfulness. Don't let our praise be empty space. Come abide in this place. Every heart, you are transforming. Come and move. Have your glory. Darkness trembles, mountains crumble. When you draw near to us, you draw near to us. Strongholds breaking, destiny changing. When you draw near to us, you draw near to us. Oh 
God fill the room. Come on, everybody. Angels are at every corner. When you fill the room, God fill the room. Everything that's dead, everything that's dead comes alive when you fill the room. God fill the room. Chains will break. Chains will break and demons will run away. You fill the room. God fill the room. He's here right now. And so because he is here, we want to extend this invitation. We know you've been worshiping. But you know, the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Yes, Jesus. There is liberty. Hallelujah. And we know his presence is in this place. Hallelujah. So we want to invite you to be free. Hallelujah. Be free and worship him. Be free and come to the altar. Be free and kneel down. Because he seeks us to worship him. Those that would worship the father in spirit and in truth yes. so right now let's just go ahead and determine that we're going to worship him Hallelujah! for all that he's done for who he is yes, if he didn't do anything else you know he's done enough Hallelujah. the fact that you're here today you're here right now is a testimony to God's goodness to his greatness and he is great and he is greatly to be praised so at any moment, while we're singing this song, feel free to step into the aisles, feel free to bow down, feel free to come to the altar, and let's worship our Savior. Come on and lift your hands and begin to bless Him. Oh, you're worthy, you're worthy. come to honor you the ones you say have come to worship you it's just that simple come on use those words Let's lift our hands and give him a wave offering. Healer. Healer. Has he done anything for you? Call him. Healer. Call him your healer. Healer. The one you heal. The one you heal has come to honor you. We're talking about ourselves, the ones. The one you heal has come to worship you. Let's take it a little higher. Father.
hands as high as you can get them right now. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Can you sing that with us? To Lift your hand. To worship you, I live, I live to worship you. Where are the true worshipers in this place? Come on. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live, I live to worship you. Come on, lift your voice and say, To worship you.
If you don't mind, come on and stand to your feet. This is the last song. Come on. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Let's lift our hands as high as we can get them. Come on. To worship you, to worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. Close your eyes and sing it again to worship you, to worship you, I live, to worship you, I live, I live, to worship you, oh, lift your hands high, lift your hands high, in this moment but Jesus to worship to worship you I live to worship you I live I live to worship you let's just worship the Lord let's just talk to the Lord if you have your heavenly language let's just worship the Lord Lord that I'm a seeker that I'm a soul the presence of the Lord is in this place. Lord, we just worship you. We glorify you. We lift our voices to you. Lord, we live to worship you. So we give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. For you are an amazing Lord. You're a good God. And we're so grateful to be in your presence. We're so grateful to be in this atmosphere of worship. We're so grateful to be in this anointed presence. So we just worship you, Lord. We just bless you, Lord. Anybody have anything that you're grateful for God for? Has God been good to anyone besides me in here today? Just tell them you love them. Lord, I love you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for being an amazing God. I thank you for being a good father. I thank you for being a healer. For healing my body. From any sickness, any disease, any infirmity, any virus. I thank you for your healing power that is flowing in the bodies of each and every person that is in this place. If you need healing in your body, just raise your hands. Just receive it now. Whatever you may be dealing with, a pain, an infirmity a form of depression just release it right now come on y'all let's keep worshiping come on lord we just bless you we thank you we glorify you we thank you lord for your anointing that is in this place glory 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 I don't want to rush the presence of God. He's doing something right now in somebody's life, in somebody's body. Let's receive it right now. Whatever you're needing, whatever you're going through, whatever you need to be set free of, it's right here in His presence. Lord, we just thank you for your resurrection power. That's in this place. Lord, your resurrection power is not just a story. 
it's not just a day but it's a movement in our lives that saves us that set us free that heals us that redeems us that can break any yoke of any addiction that can break the yoke of oppression that can break the yoke of depression so father i just thank you as we obey your spirit in this moment in jesus name amen 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 you may be seated praise god surely the presence of the lord is in this place it is so good to see each and every one of you on this beautiful resurrection sunday morning welcome once again to believers bible christian church as i told you before where god is exalted the devil is defeated and jesus is lord i don't want us to confuse this resurrection sunday is just a, a formality just to show up and leave the same but that you can leave here different that you can leave here with a new revelation you can leave here with a new breakthrough you can leave here with a new healing in your body you can leave here with a new financial breakthrough you can leave here with a peace that passes all understanding anybody like the peace of god in your hearts and in your mind glory to god glory to god well hadn't the music ministry been amazing this morning let's give them a big god bless you a big hand clap of praise glory to god i do want to just share a couple things with you. i'm not going to preach a whole message since it's it's already time but i do want to just impart something into your life and tell you that the the good news which is our theme for today the good news is one that yes that jesus loves you but the good news is that he is risen he is risen praise god i thought i had one excited believer that said that he is risen somebody tell your neighbor he is risen and uh, if you just give me a few moments i just want to pour something into your life and then we're going to let you get out of here let us pray father in the name of jesus we thank you lord for this day we thank you lord for this resurrection sunday we thank you this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it i thank you lord for this opportunity to share with your people to stir up the body of christ and that you brought us all here this morning for a purpose you have us all watching online for a purpose and it's not by accident or happenstance that we're here to receive your word lord on my behalf I ask you for clarity of speech and simplicity of thoughts but most of all lord i thank you for the anointing that's presence in this place and that it flows like it's never flowed before in jesus name we pray and everyone said amen and amen glory to god so listen it is such an honor to be before you on this beautiful sunday morning those of you that don't know me i'm pastor theo mcnair jr pastor of this amazing church believers bible christian church located right here in beautiful southwest atlanta georgia and there are people that are all over the world there are preachers all over the world that are sharing the message of salvation today sharing the message about the resurrection of jesus christ and that is the good news that we are excited about and i'm excited to share with you just briefly here this morning and today we celebrate that jesus is risen somebody say he is risen, he is risen. so the the scripture i'm going to share we're going to look at this morning for a little while it's going to come from the book of matthews and although we've heard this before and many of us have read this before and we heard it preached throughout the years it can become kind of familiar to us with the resurrection story and so much familiar that we miss out on the amazing miracle that actually happened on that first easter sunday nearly two thousand years ago so I invite you as we as we go through the scripture today and I share a few points with you to listen and receive and to allow this life changing truth of Easter and receive it afresh and anew. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So I, I once heard a story um, about a conversation that took place 
on a, a Sunday school, small Sunday school morning at church. And uh, it's a young lady. We're just going to call her Kayla. We're going to call her Kayla. Uh, Kayla was in Sunday school and the Sunday school teacher was just had been sharing with them how much the presence of God is everywhere. And she wanted the children to realize that, you know, God is everywhere. No matter where you are, God is there. And so Kayla, this young lady, she, you know, she raised her hand because she was somewhat conflicted with uh, what the Sunday school teacher had shared and was sharing. And so she raised her hand and she said, you know, you know, they recognized it. And she kind of was a little excited. She said, well, I know one place where where God is not. And so the teacher kind of looked at her and said, okay, Kayla, where, where, is she, where is he not? And she said, he is not in the grave. He is risen. <laughs> Glory to God. She said, he's not in the grave. And, and so I want to testify, and that's the reason why we are here today, because he is not in the grave, that he is risen. Praise God. And so this, this uh, as, we, as we look in Matthew 28 and verse 1 through 8, I mean, one through six, it says, now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. And his countenance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him because like dead men, but the angel answered and said to the women, do not be afraid for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here for he is risen. As he said, come see the place where he had laid. And so as we, as we look at this text, we see that the women that, uh, that had traveled to the tomb on that Easter morning, they came with heavy hearts as they mourned the loss of their dear friend, Jesus, only three days before. He had been arrested, he had been crucified, he had been hung on the cross for claiming to be the son of God and the true king of the Jews. And so they, along with countless others, you know, had been hoping that this was, this Jesus was the promised Messiah that they had hoped for their entire lives. And there had been prophetic passages from the Old Testament that told them that one would come to save God's people and make things right. But all of that prophetic hope was somewhat lost because Jesus was dead. And there was no doubt about it that he was dead. And after he was taken down from the cross, he was placed inside of a tomb. And they put a large stone there just to make sure, one, that all of these people that were now followers of Jesus, they wouldn't be able to go in there and mess with him or to to try to bring him out or try to, you know, they wanted to bury this whole thought of this is the true son of God. So the guards were placed there to ensure that whatever kind of following Jesus had gained, that it would die along with him. But as we saw in the scripture, something amazing happened. There was a violent earthquake and the tomb was breached by the angels sent from God. And as we saw, the guards were terrified. And this is when the situation as the women arrived. They were greeted by the angels sitting on the stone and he told them, don't be afraid. And I know that seems like it's easy. And we look at that scripture and say, you know, you see two men look like lightning sitting there at a tomb telling you not to be afraid. Uh, you know, it's, it's like you say, it's easy for him to say. But they told him that they would not find what they had come looking for because Jesus was not in the tomb anymore. He was alive. And so he said, look and see. And they said, and they saw that he was nowhere to be found. So I'm going to give you a couple of points this morning real quick. The first point I'm going to give you is he is not here. He has risen. He is not here. He has risen. So maybe some of you had come to church this morning in a very similar way to the way the women arrived, feeling like things are already lost. You may come without hope. You may have come without joy. Maybe you come here today feeling like the future that you had longed for is gone because this thing that you hoped for is no longer present. Your dreams or that relationship, your dreams or that, you know, that, um, you know, that, that knight in shining armor, you know, you may feel like the outcome is impossible. 
And the reason I, I can bring up that knight in shining armor because we, we just married off a of knight in shining armor on yesterday to my, my beautiful niece on yesterday. Shout out to the families for that on yesterday. But remember, the tomb is empty. Our Savior has risen. And so this one discovery by these the ladies, Mary and Mary, it changed everything. Because it turned their worlds upside down. The thing that they thought was lost, it was turned around and they discovered that it was no longer lost. And it, it flipped their despair to joy. It turned their distress to excitement and their discouragement to encouragement. And it could do the same for someone in this room today. I was just thinking back to when I was, you know, in my early adulthood. Uh, you know, I grew up in church and I... Uh, you know, I, I was telling somebody, I was talking yesterday, you know, I, I was just watching the young people enjoying themselves. And I told, you know, I went to HBCU, I attended Clark Atlanta University. I, uh, you know, I, I'd done my share of things that I, I was not excited about. I can't share with you in this moment. <laughs> but it came to a place in my life where I didn't, you know, I had a sense of, of, of somewhat of guilt and condemnation because, you know, like I know better. I've known better. I've, I've hurt some people. I've been disappointing to some people. But I'm like, God, I, I do want to, to make things right. You know, I know that there is a higher calling on my life. I know there's more to my life than just, you know, running behind, seeking pleasure and having fun. Glory to God. And so when I, I made that decision, I, I, I came before God and I said, God, I want you to take me to another level in my life. Uh, I know I'm tired of playing games. I'm tired of, uh, before I go to bed every night, I'm, I'm trying to repent and say, God, forgive me for all my sins that I've done today. Oh, I'm, I'm the only one. Okay, y'all. Y'all just go to bed still, you know. But no, no, I was like, I'm tired of living a life that's not pleasing to you. And so in that moment, I remember that Everything changed for me because I felt the peace that God has said, I still love you regardless of your shortcomings. I still love you despite of where you messed up. I still love you that even though you knew better, you didn't always do better. And so that thing, it, it changed for me. It's something that I felt was, may have been impossible, but God said, all things are possible with me. And there's nothing impossible with God. And so I'm sure the women could not believe their eyes, but when the angel spoke to them that Jesus was alive, their unbelief must have melted into tr truth, into faith. Because if Jesus was alive, that meant that the impossible of death had become a reality, and now anything was possible. So Easter is a time of the year where the church gathers to remind itself that Jesus has risen. And because of that truth, there is profound hope in all of us that anything is possible for us today. My second point I want to give you is that God mercy is the thing that changes us. God mercy changes us. So the truth of Jesus' resurrection becomes a focal point in the New Testament as everyone begins to, to write about the impact of the risen Savior on people's lives. The book of 1 Peter opens up with this, 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. It reads, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through, get this, the resurrection of Jesus from the dead and to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that does not fade away, that is reserved in heaven for you. So Peter says that we have a reason to celebrate. And that reason is that God saw us in our broken and sinful state and graciously offered us mercy by sending Jesus to die for us. And in his die and in his death, he defeated sin and death by conquering the grave. But I love the wording that Peter used here to describe what is offered to us by saying we are giving a new birth. Somebody say new birth. New birth. And see, this is a common phrase that we hear in the Gospels and we hear in church uh, that we, when we are changed by the resurrection power of God, we have this, this new birth. But by having faith that the impossible can be possible, we are giving, and when we say a new birth, it's talking about a brand new start. Somebody say a brand new, a brand new start. 
That brand new start is free from sin, pure and unblemished, almost like a newborn baby. I was looking at uh, baby Izzy over there. I was thinking about when my baby girl, who is now 18, Lord, and I was looking at Audrey yesterday. It's like I just remember when they were when they were newborns, and they we we they come into this world so sweet and so innocent. You know, I, I remember something my dad said years ago. He says, I don't care how crazy somebody you see on, you know, what all they've done. At one point, they were somebody's baby. But when we, when we think of somebody's baby, we think about the innocence. We think about the pureness. We think about they haven't faced any of the stings of disappointments. They haven't faced any of the, the hurting and the mistakes or the pain of loss. And in so many ways that we can, we can look at the newborn and we can look at the new babies and just kind of have a little envy. It's like, man, I remember when life was so, so pure and innocent. But I, wanna, I, want to, I want to share with you that what Peter wants us to understand with the living hope is that we are able to have a new birth with God. That all the things that you've done, all the disappointments you've had, all of the loss, all the people you've hurt, and I have hurt you, it's like God is saying, I'm able to start something afresh and anew into your life. Our sins are washed clean because of the mercy of God. We become innocent and not in and of ourselves, but by the mercy of God. But not only are we made new, but we're also given an inheritance into heaven with God. So God changes our past. He changes our present and our future by the life and death of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So do you realize today that the empty tomb was for you? Is for you. Do you realize that the mercy of God is offered to you? Do you realize that you can experience a new birth today because of the resurrection? So my final point as I, as I get ready to close is number three is that we must have a, a change of heart. A change of heart. The real reason that there are pastors who are preaching about the empty tomb and the mercy of God today is ultimately because we want to create an opportunity for you to have a change of heart. And the Bible talks about this change, but it uses the word called repentance. So the proper response for you and I when we hear about the, the sacrificial death and the victorious resurrection of Jesus is to repent. In the original Greek language, this word literally means to have a change of heart, to turn around, or listen to this, to go in a different direction. Romans 10 and verse 9 tells us that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So according to Paul, that is a, a two-step process to being changed. Or in other words, of being saved. We hear this words like, you know, I'm saved. But it's like, okay, you, you, you're saved, but you're saved from what? And the first thing and, 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 the, and the actions that we must do in order to be saved, before I tell you what we're saved from, is that you must declare with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord of your life. What does that mean? That he is in charge, that I don't just do things my way. I don't do things the way that I was taught in the world, but I make him Lord and I make him savior, meaning I make him boss of my life. First, we must voice this out loud and letting others know that we recognize that Jesus as our authority. Praise God. Secondly, you believe in your heart that the impossible can become possible. You believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. And the same power that raised Jesus from the dead and the same power that raised him from the grave can bring new life to you as well. There are people that's all over this room that can testify of the new life that God has placed inside of them. That once they were one thing, but now they are totally something else. So what is it that you are saved from what? You are saved from the power of death. We no longer have to fear death. You are saved from eternity without God. You don't want to live eternity without God. You don't want to leave this earth and not know where you spend eternity. But even worse, you don't want to leave this earth and not spend eternity with God. And the third thing I'll tell you is that you are saved from the awful effects of sin. You are saved and set free from condemnation, saved from guilt of your past. 
And that is something that no one can take away from you. So as Peter reminded us that Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday is something to celebrate and praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. As I close, I'm going to read, there's a story of a a British minister, W.E. Sangster, began to lose his voice and his mobility in the mid-1950s. He had a disease that caused progressive muscular atrophy, 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 I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to rush now, and he recognized that the end was near, so he threw himself into writing and praying. It's like this is, this is all that he's going to do. He recognized that in the midst of his suffering, he pleaded, Lord, let me stay in the struggle. I don't mind if I can no longer be a general, but give me just a regimen to lead. Eventually, Sangster's voice failed completely and his legs became useless. And on Easter morning, just a few weeks before his death, he took a pen and shakily wrote his daughter a letter. And in it, he said, it is terrible to wake up on Easter morning and have no voice which to shout, he is risen. But it would be still more terrible to have a voice and not want to shout that he is risen. So I hope that each and every one of you today, as I close, will join me in proclaiming that he is risen. And so for those who have never, I I want to invite you to, to make a confession with your mouth. And I ask you to believe in your heart and I invite you to say a prayer with me. So while his mind eyes closed, I'm asking everyone in the room to say this prayer with me. Say, Father, I come. I do believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe he died, went into hell, and was raised from the dead. I ask you, Jesus, to come into my heart, to be my Lord and my Savior. I ask you, to forgive me of my sins, take away the old, the hurt, the shame, the guilt, the condemnation. Give me your love, your joy, your faith, your peace. I give you my word. I will live for you for the rest of my life. I am saved. I am a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Somebody give God praise in this house. The good news is that he is risen. The good news is that the resurrection power of God that raised Jesus from the dead is the same resurrection power that some of you this morning have made that decision. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand. I'm not going to ask you to stand up. I'm just going to ask you, that you make that decision today that I'm going to be a new person, that I'm allowed that the resurrection power of God, that I didn't just come here today by accident. I didn't just come here today just to look good. I didn't come here just to hear someone sing, but I came here today and I made a decision and I'm leaving different from where I came today. So I want everyone just to give God praise for that resurrection power. Glory, glory. Well, listen, I pray that this service has been a blessing to you. I do invite each and every one of you to come back and and join us again. Uh, Our music ministry did an amazing job. I want to recognize all of the singers, all the worshipers, all the dancers. Praise God, all the musicians. Uh, Praise God for all the rappers. (laughs) Glory to God. I I do want to rap the next time. Praise God, praise God. But um, were you blessed today? Hallelujah. Y'all look good. Y'all look good. I'm not going to hold you any longer. I, listen, I, y'all look like y'all want me to keep on preaching. I can, I can go longer. I just try to give y'all a... Uh, no, just kidding. No, I just want to be obedient to what the Holy Spirit gave me. I did want to give an opportunity. And I, I want just to know that, you know, that Jesus is the reason, that his resurrection power is the reason, and that we don't take the miracle of the resurrection for granted glory to god 
So listen, before I let you go, I do want to uh, remind you that we, we did the offering earlier in the service. Some of you may have come in after the offering. So we're just going to give you an opportunity, give you the information. If you want to participate, if you want to give, uh, you can text to give. Text the word BBCC to the number 54244. Uh, cash app handle is dollar sign Believer's Bible ATL. If you want to give by cash app. And then the church address is 3689 Camerton Road, Southwest Atlanta, Georgia, 30331. I'm looking at my wife. She think I'm, you know, I ain't looking at nobody else telling them to come. Praise God. But the church address is 3689 Camerton Road, Southwest Atlanta, Georgia, 30331. Why those of you that may be preparing your offerings are, uh, as we get ready to, to dismiss, maybe you want to say a couple, couple words to the people. does she look lovely? I did, I did a hair, I did a hair yesterday for the wedding, so that's why hair is looking so cute. Praise the Lord! My husband has so many jokes, but glory be to God! I just want to say Happy Resurrection Sunday to each and every one in the building this morning, and those of you that are online. Amen. The Lord is so good, and you know, I there had been some chatter that I've seen about King Jesus. And I said, well, when you look at your life, many of you in this room this morning, when you look back over your life, is there any doubt that Jesus is the king? Hallelujah. There is none. So give a round of applause for our Lord and Savior this morning. He is King Jesus. He is the Lord God Almighty, the beginning and the end. And God raised him up from the dead for us, just for the justification of our sin, that we might be set right with God. So I am honored this morning to be before you. I am honored to be a part of the body of Christ, because that means that I have passed from death unto life. Hallelujah. So I have something to look forward to when I transition out of this current life. How many of you want somewhere to go when you transition out of this life? Amen. And Jesus went to prepare a place for us. The Bible says that he, he told the disciples that where I, I go to prepare a place for you, that where I am, you might be also. So that place the Lord has prepared for us in the kingdom of heaven. And he has prepared a place for us as well right here in this life. He has filled us with the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. The Lord works and moves in our lives. Hallelujah. So we continue to reverence him. Continue to lift him on high. Continue to call on the name of Jesus Christ that is above every single name. And we are in these last and evil days. So we need our Savior. And I am so thankful that he was resurrected. Amen. And I'm going to say this last thing and turn this over to my husband. I put a post on, up on social media and somebody said to me that they didn't think that Good Friday was good because Jesus was crucified. I said, but if he was not crucified, he could not have been resurrected. So he is good. The birth of Jesus Christ was good. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ was good. And the resurrection was even better. Amen. I said, so it's all right. Good Friday is good. This life that we live in God is good. Everything about Jesus is good. There is no reason to be sad about anything because it was the will of God to redeem his people back to him. So he sent his son Jesus as a sacrifice of our sins. Hallelujah. So he got up on that third day with all power in his hand the bible talked about he took the keys of death hell and the grave from the devil he made a show of the devil openly he defeated the enemy and we are the children of the living god and the enemy is defeated and jesus christ is lord of all things so give him another round of applause hallelujah god bless you we love all of you we appreciate you and again happy resurrection sunday praise the lord praise the lord if you go ahead and stand with me let's give god praise listen all of my first time guests you also should have received a special ticket or an invite to what we call our pastor's breakfast 
Uh, if you did not receive one, it's going to be next Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. Um, but if it's your first time, you should have received one of these special invitations to our pastor's breakfast next Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. We do want to see you. Just an opportunity for you to meet uh, my family and some of the leaders. And then we tell you a little more about the vision of what God is doing here at Believers. And we feed you a nice hot breakfast as well. But that is uh, next Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. We would love to see you here. Also, to all of our, our regular attenders and all of you that's on social media that that that's always here. We thank God for seeing you all. I pray that you have an amazing week. I know it's spring break week is coming up, so I know there's a lot of traveling, a lot of, uh, I know there's some honeymooning going on this week as well. Um, but no, I, I, we pray that you have an amazing week, an amazing time. Be safe. Uh, spend some time with those that are close to you and just remember that this is all about Jesus and we, we love you here at Believers. So I'm going to close you out with prayer. I think that's all my, anything else? Close you out with prayer, and then I'm going to let you get out of here. Praise God. Were y'all blessed today? Praise God. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for this time of coming together. We thank you, Lord, for those that are participating in the giving right now. Lord, you said in your word, if we bring our tithes and our offerings into your storehouse, you said there will be meat for you. And said you said, prove you're not here with if you're not open the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing. And so, Lord, I thank you that blessing is not just a, a financial blessing, but, Father, I thank you, Lord, for those healing blessings, Father. I thank you, Father, for those mental blessings, Father, those blessings of peace and prosperity, Father. And, Lord, I thank you that as we go about our separate ways today and throughout this week, that you lead in God, each and every one of us, according to Psalms 23. Lord, thank you for your protection over us and our families, according to Psalms 91. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on us, according to Psalms 103. And that we walk in the faith and the favor of our father Abraham. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said? Amen. Amen. Listen, I'm Theo McNair. This is my wife, Octavia. Thank you for worshiping with us. Happy Resurrection Sunday. We'll see you next time, next Sunday at 11 o'clock. Be blessed.